Okay, so um, hi everyone. Welcome to Personality Psychology course. So to so now uh, I'm I'm going to uh, give you some introductory remarks uh, on uh, on on this course. So yeah, I'm going to uh, slightly introduce you to what personality psychology uh, is all about, and also um, uh, some uh, remarks that uh, that recently. Uh, has been widely discussed about, uh, about about personality and also how we behave in social media. Uh, but before that, I strongly suggest you to check on uh, the course contract and also syllabus to properly understand uh, how, uh, what uh, the course, what is the course is all about and also what references that you should read and also how will you be evaluated for this course. And if you have any questions, if you ever have any questions, please uh, do feel free to raise that uh, in our Google Classroom. So I have provided the link uh, directly to the Google, Google Classroom, uh, one for uh, Amarta students and the other one for IUB students. So feel free to uh, to ask any questions that you have uh, that you might have about this course. So um, so in this video, I'm going to explain to you what uh, personality is all about in several uh, short videos <laughs> in, uh, in, with the hope that you won't be, uh, you won't be uh, get bored with my explanation. So it would be a very short uh, video in uh, around 10 to 15 minutes for each videos. And uh, we start from the uh, some topics that we're going to discuss in this course. Yeah. So we have several theories um, uh, that we're going to uh, that we're going to learn uh, throughout the semester. So the first approach or the first paradigm that we're going to that we're going to raise in these questions is psychoanalysis, yes, psychoanalysis movement, and it consists of several uh, se several and separate uh, theories according to the persons, yeah, the person who raised that. So the first one would be the classical uh, version of psychoanalysis, and then we're going to also uh, delve, uh, going to delve deeper into uh, Jungian theory of psychoanalysis and also how the Myers-Briggs types inventory tests, personality tests, uh, was constructed and also interpreted. And also the next one would be uh, feminist psychoanalysis from Karen Hodney and also some trait theory from uh, some uh, some theories from the trait paradigm such as uh, Alport, yeah, from uh, from uh, Alport trait theory, and also we're going to discuss five factor model, and also some uh, approach from a uh, humanistic approach, yeah, from a humanistic paradigm, uh, which are Maslow's and also Rogers, yeah, Carl Rogers uh, personality theories. And but the first questions that we should ask ourselves is that uh, what is actually personality and why. Uh, you as a student, uh, some of you are a psychology student, but some of you are not, uh, why you should care about it and why this is interesting to learn about human personality. Yeah. Uh, so of course, this is a, a question that, uh, that, that's, that's very interesting to, to be asked, yeah, to begin with uh, this, to begin with, uh, with this, this journey, our journey in this course. Yeah. So, I'll come up with several several definitions about personality, which are, to be honest with you, it's quite vague. <laughs> yeah, but but I assure you that it it will get uh, clearer, and it 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 is actually strongly depend on the paradigm that you are going to use. Yeah, to to analyze uh, one's personality. So, for example, if you learn uh, personality theories uh, from the sides of psychoanalysis, they would assume yeah personality could. Uh, it is completely different from other paradigm. Let's say uh, the trait paradigm or also humanistic paradigm. So, how personality is described or defined would be extremely dependent uh, on uh, how uh, which uh, paradigm that you're going to use to uh, uh, when you when you're trying to learn about personality, uh, trying to learn about one's personality. So the first uh, generic <laughs> description about what personality uh, actually is that uh, it's a state of being as a person yeah which means that it describes you as a person 
and apart from that of course it contains of uh, of our characteristics that describes us as a person and also our qualities as a person whether we're a good person or bad person in general or it's it's to be honest with you, it's it's quite rare that you would find a person completely on the dark side or on the light side <laughs> because to be honest with you we're, we're actually a combination of both yeah and and it's it's actually um uh it's actually a human nature <laughs> yeah so it's completely uh irrational if you expect that we're going to describe a person as completely bad or completely good because in fact we are a combination of both and what is interesting about personality is that uh it separates us with the rest of the world yeah it would give us the feelings of authenticity which means that we could be different from other uh, uh, from other people even though you were born as a twin you would you will still uh, be different from your twin from your identical twin uh, which means that it makes you unique as a person but at the same time some paradigm uh, such as the trait uh, paradigm would give you completely different con contradictory explanation which means that maybe we're not that completely unique <laughs> maybe we share the same uh, characteristic with other people yeah with other people with, with the rest of the world so we're not actually completely unique and the questions whether personality is inherited or learned now that would be also interesting questions to ask as well yeah whether it is inherited whether it is embedded in our gene or it is actually something that we learn from our environment from our experience yeah, during our experience as a human and the the other uh, definition that quite interesting as well is that it, it it is a sum total of our physical mental emotional and social characteristic uh, as a person yeah so it comprises our physical description and how we perceive and how we describe yeah our physical appearances to pers uh, uh, to other people how we present ourselves physically and then how we process yeah, our in our in uh, the in uh, the information around us mentally and then how we respond to social stimuli as well it would also describe our personality yeah so it's a total sum of characteristics of ourselves that makes us perhaps unique or perhaps we share similar characteristic uh, with the rest of the community with the rest of the world yeah and the last one would be the the, the last generic uh, description or definition of uh, personality is that it is unique and it is relatively enduring internal and external aspects which means that it may change but not that easy to change one's personality which means that there's some stability in in, the, in these characteristics and these characteristics or internal qualities may also affect how we behave yeah how we behave in different situation which means that it it also provides some consistency some consistent information about how we respond to uh, social stimuli yeah and why does it matter yeah why should we should uh, learn about personality well practically if you learn about uh, about uh, personality it also means that you learn about yourself yeah you try to reflect you try to identify you try to recognize yourself as a person so i strongly suggest you to use this moment uh, to use this opportunity to take a closer look to yourself yeah um, and also to apply those theories that you're going to learn throughout this course to better understand yourself so this is the this is the mission that uh, that i think would be very important here yeah, to to achieve during this course so basically why does it matter yeah because everybody has one unless you are diagnosed with a very severe mental illness that we call dissociative identity disorder which means that you have a several identity several personality at once which means that makes you completely abnormal <laughs> yeah and there are some uh, popular movies yeah that you could watch to better know about uh, these uh, this particular disorder this is quite rare disorder uh, but very interesting one yeah uh, and the and the person who suffer from this uh, disorder they would behave they would appear that several people live in one body which means quite interesting and i suggest you to to watch several movies that related to this disorder in order to uh, 
better understand why this has happened and also the context why uh, one why one particular individual could develop uh, could develop uh, such interesting um, uh, uh, such interesting mental disorder. Yeah, one particular movie that I would recommend is Split. Yeah, start by uh, James McAvoy if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. But it looks like I missed that I that I that that it was not uh, James McAvoy. I forgot the name of the actor. But it was a it was a very interesting one, and I recommend you to watch that. And the second question is about what does it matter? <laughs> yeah, uh, of course everybody has one. We assume that everybody has one. Um, the questions that we need to ask ourselves is that if we if, assuming that everybody has one, how we should evaluate? How we should measure that? How we should um, ensure? Yeah, how we should ensure uh, uh, our own personality? How do we know it? Yeah. Uh, do we need do we always need a psychological test to affirm or to acknowledge our personality uh, the questions the, the simple question would be a no yeah you don't you don't always need yeah do, you don't always need psychological tests or personality tests to uh, to understand your own personality yeah so, uh, because basically you could also check yourself and also you can, you could ask other people yeah uh, in order to better understand your uh, personality but of course psychological tests or personality tests would be extremely useful and we're going to use that uh, several uh, personality tests uh, during this course but the, the answer is no you don't need psychological tests if you want to uh, acknowledge or if you want to, uh, to to better understand about your personality yeah because it would benefit or it could be useful in in some contexts yeah um, and also, I need you to ponder, uh, take a minute, uh, take some minutes to ponder um, whether you are the same person as you were, let's say, ten years ago. Are you the same person, or are you a completely different person? And I need you to also uh, reflect on the questions whether what it, what you think is different from from uh, what you are now and what you were ten year, ten years ago. Yeah, I believe that there are some. Uh, there are some changes. Yeah, of course, we're not the same person even uh, compared to to ten seconds ago. But uh, but the the but the the, the starting point would be uh, there are some changes. We uh, we were aware that there might be change. Yeah, but uh, when we talk about personality, there is some stability. There's some consistency that. Uh, that reflects and also uh, that uh, represents that describes us as a person so even though we are constantly changed we constantly improve ourselves but personality means that there's some stability yeah <laughs> we we would um, respond uh, completely uh, uh, similar yeah to the to, to same stimulus uh, over time for example you would be easily angry yeah to a small things for example <laughs> And when it is con when it is consistent, then it becomes our personality, which means that we could easily angry to small things, which means that we're we're actually we're full of anger, for example, yeah, as as a part of personality. And also, if it's stable, if it's unique, uh, the the next question would be: Is it predictable? Yeah, <laughs> could we use personality, uh, one's personality, as a information, as an information? As informations to predict one's behavior so if you know that uh, your mom for example uh, your mom would be easily angry if they if she sees you if she sees you uh, wake up uh, wake up uh, too late yeah and then you could predict that if you wake up too late then your mom would be angry <laughs> yeah. because you know you could you could easily predict because you already have that information so the question would be if you know one's personality then could you use that to predict one's behavior? And then you sh then I ask you to also ponder these questions. Um, why do you think it's important to know about ourselves? So, so what's the importance of knowing about ourselves? Does give us does that give us uh, a benefit? I don't know what kind of benefit that you expect. Yeah, uh, on uh, on knowing about your own personality and we're going to discuss about these questions here on the Google Classroom I think this is a very interesting question to ponder so yeah well this is um, uh, a very nice quotes I would say 
um, that reflects the importance of uh, of knowing about yourself. Yeah. So basically, knowing about yourself is a, is a one step closer to gain wisdom. Yeah. To gain awareness about who you are, um, and also to aware to be aware of our limitation and our strength as well. And how we best address ourselves in the eyes of society. So I think, yeah, it is uh, pretty rational. It is completely um, understandable why Socrates, many many decades and many many millennials uh, before, he says that he said that uh, knowing ourselves means, yeah, it's a it's a start. It's a it's, it is the begin of the journey of gaining the wisdom. Yeah so um the last one the last part of the of this video i'm going to uh, continue to the next video about uh, the discussion about um uh, our personality and our appearance online but then i i encourage you to take 10 minutes <laughs> to take 10 minutes to uh to try to know yourself yeah so uh i need you to uh to grab a piece of paper and also a pen or maybe you could uh, write down, uh, you can also exercise, I do this exercise using your laptop. So I ask you to write down as many adjectives as you really can to describe your own, to describe your own personality, to describe how you are really like, yeah. And you, and the, 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 the bottom line would be don't write anything that you think, <laughs> that you think you would like to be. Yeah, or what your parents or your Instagram friends or your um, Twitter friends would expect you, you uh, uh, would expect you how you look like. So it it completely comes from your own reflection, not from others, from not others' expectation. Yeah. So write down as many adjectives as you can, and the questions will be how many adjectives did you find? Yeah, to describe your own personality. I'm going to ask uh, these questions on Google Classroom and I expect you to do this exercise because this is a very good exercise to start with. And please count how many adjectives that you could find in 10 minutes. You don't need to uh, reveal uh, what adjectives that you that describes you, but I, I'm, I'm interested to know how many, yeah, how many adjectives in 10 minutes that you could uh, uh, that you could uh, that you could describe about yourselves. So this is uh, the end of the first part of the video. I'm going to continue to the next video about uh, personality and how we behave online.